Okay, welcome to episode six. The name of this episode is The X Factor, which is an interesting uh, phrase for them to use because, of course, it's referring to Kermit and Spiggy's X, but it's also just the definition, which I'm too lazy to look up, but I know it has something to do with that. Anyway, as uh, you guys requested and liked, I'm joined with Jeremy again. Hey, guys. Yeah, hey! So you guys really liked that I had someone to discuss something with, and because Jeremy was such an awesome person to have a discussion with, we brought him back, and we just watched the episode. So, again, Jeremy, guess first. What were your thoughts on the episode so far? Overall, thoughts. Overall, I thought it was pretty hilarious. Uh-huh. Maybe not quite as funny as last week, but pretty, pretty up there. Yeah. I, my basic thoughts are that Scooter wins the episode. Yeah. That is my thought. Yeah, Scooter. I think that the things that we found out about Scooter was pretty funny, and we, um, he pretty much won the, um, yeah, he won the episode. But I also think, I think the stuff with uh, the Electric Mayhem was pretty funny too. That was hysterical. <laughs> um, I love getting to know them better. I know. They, like we don't get to know them very well. A I lot know. Of time. Yeah, you're right. So what we do know basically is that they're like a bunch of uh, pot smoking hippies, basically. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so going to them first, I guess we'll just start with them. Okay. So first of all, uh, we have the Electric Mayhem story. Uh, Christian Chenoweth performed on Miss Piggy's show, and they asked her to come perform. I think at Floyd's father's birthday party, which they never get to. Yeah. Um, but it was interesting because on the ride over, all of a sudden we found out all these things about them. Like, first of all, I guess Janice doesn't consider um, her and Floyd to be in a relationship. And apparently Dr. Teeth and Herman are in a relationship. Yep. <laughs> and oh. then that didn't work out. And then that didn't work out. Oh my gosh. And But uh, Floyd never knew. I know. It's like, okay, so they've been around since like the 70s. Like, how could like they not know this stuff about each other by now? Oh my goodness. Um, and I love, I think one of my, my favorite jokes though from all of them was when Floyd was like, uh, the world does not revolve around you, it revolves around the moon, and that's why we have seasons! Oh yeah, he was like, that's why we have winter. Yeah, that's it's why like, we have winter, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, wait, what? what? Where did that come from? Where did Oh, but I felt so bad for Krista Chenoweth too because they left her in the desert. I know, poor lady. I know! She finally gets to hang out with these guys and like and get they, tired and then they just ditch her. I know, buckets. they literally desert her. <laughs> poor, poor Krista Chenoweth. Oh. And I was so looking forward to seeing like what she was going to do with them and like if they were going to sing together at like this party they were talking about. I was like, no, they don't even get there. I was interested to see Floyd's dad. I know! Like they always, you know what's interesting is they've talked about like certain people's family members. We haven't even met them yet. I would love to meet some of them. Now I know. I, I really want to meet Scooter's mom now. <laughs> and Ken. And Ken. I think the joke that had us on the floor was when he was talking about his mom's special time with Ken, and then he mentioned like, yeah, clothes or ro yeah, wear a robe, Ken, or yeah. clothes or robe, Ken. Uh, yeah, it's like put on a robe. Yeah, put on a robe. Yeah, clothes like, or robe, something like that. Put on a robe, Ken. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there were so many like, there was so much like innuendo in this episode. That was great. And I love that we found out just how sad of a human being Scooter kind of is because yeah. <laughs> he, he talks about how like, I need to go out and party and his way of uh, going out and partying is going to a- Color me mine. A color me mine, one of those little coloring places. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. And then everyone else making fun of the people who go there. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, well yeah, at the very end, um, Pepe was like, oh look at all these women who are here, and there's yeah. the Desperate Housewives of Chardonnay in their water bottles. Like, that's very LA. I don't think I've yeah. ever personally met someone that I know of who does that, but it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, so, the stuff with Scooter was really great. It, you know, it was interesting too was, um, there wasn't really an arc with him, but it was just kind of interesting just to kind of dab at him and find out little things about him. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, interesting to see more of him than just, like, assistant guy. Yes, yeah. It's like, seeing him in his element? <laughs> like, if you can call that his element. Yeah. Like, this little nerdy thing that he does. Yeah. And seeing how serious he gets. How, see, how, much, how, how much he takes it seriously. Yeah, it's like, yeah, there's just no rules. It's cool, except this, 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 and this. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you yeah. can't do this. You can't use orange as a base color. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You cur cur poor Kermit's like, what happened to no rules? Yeah, and he's <laughs> like, okay, okay, no rules, except this is how you do the brush strokes. Exactly. 
Uh, okay, and then what's so funny though is that you just oh, being around people like that is just the absolute worst. Like yeah. they're like, you know, you know that they're experts about things, and like if you go do something and you go like take a project or like just do a craft, and then you're around the person who takes those things so seriously, and you just want to have fun sometimes. Like you don't really mm -hmm. care about the outcome, or like in Kermit's case, he just wants to do something nice for his girlfriend because she'll probably like it no matter what. Yeah. But then like there's that one person who's like, no, you're doing it wrong, and you're just like, I just want to have fun. Leave me alone. I know. I was. <laughs> That made me so grateful for Rizzo at the end, just because he was screwing with Scooter the whole time. I know. It was great. I know, I love that he was painting the little truck with his tail. <laughs> And you know what's funny too is I love those places. My mom um, actually for a long time encouraged me to go to those places because she likes handcrafted things. Of course. So I don't know, whenever I was in a pickle to like make her a gift of some kind, I would just go to those places. It's funny though because actually normally it takes a week to get those things back. You can't yeah. just get it back on the day of. So the fact that they had just Kermit was like, oh yeah, I'll get this done like within a day. It's like, no you won't. No. It's probably a good thing you didn't go with that then. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, Okay, so then we have the whole dynamic with, um, speaking of which, Kermit, mm -hmm. and we finally saw Denise! For more than like five seconds. I know, yeah, I know. Well, she hasn't been in an episode since the first episode, and me yeah. personally, I've been like, where is she? I want to see like more development between these two. Yeah, we were talking about that last week, I think. Mm -hmm. How we just, like, where'd she go? Yeah, exactly. Is she gonna come back? And you know what, it's actually kind of cute, I think, in my opinion, that she came in for this episode, not just because of the story, but also because uh, I guess Denise is from Georgia, mm -hmm. and Christian Chenoweth is also technically from the South. So not only is she a big Christian Chenoweth fan, but they have like some Southern, you know, something in common right there. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cute. That was really cute. And seeing her geek out over Christian Chenoweth was adorable. Yeah, we we're finally getting to see a little bit more about like who Denise is as far as her personality and like even though she tries to be professional, she still like just nerds out over the things that she's like absolutely in love with. Oh yeah. So that was actually kind of cute. We're starting to see a little bit more of like, a, okay, she's kind of cute and she's kind of innocent. You know, kind of yeah. a bit of a nerd. Yeah. Kind of quirky. <laughs> um, so we got to see more of her and um, such a typical, like, this is not a very new story where it's, um, where the whole thing of, uh, oh, your girlfriend said she doesn't want a gift? Oh, that means she wants a gift. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very typical thing, but I love the way they dealt with it. I did, too. I, I found it really funny that they actually had, like, a whole meeting where they had to, like, get everybody together and be like, okay, what should we do? Here's an idea, here's an idea, here's an idea, and then, like, um, and then we got to see Chip again. And he got to, um, like, he, he, I guess he tried to look into her recent, um, purchases. He's so creepy. I know, he's so creepy. He's like that, per he's like, it's, it's the quiet ones you gotta be careful of, guys. They're the yeah. ones who, like, know more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but then they were, like, bouncing around all these ideas, which was really cute. I, I love how Pepe was like, you need to grow your own flowers, um, and then give them to her. And Kermit said, oh, no, I need to give her a gift by tomorrow. And he's like, okay, well, then start growing them for your next ex-girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He was like, yep, this one's lost cause. Yeah, 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 pretty much, You're pretty done. much. You know, you know, actually, it's interesting, I just realized, Fozzie was in this episode. Yeah, I was thinking that right at the end. I was like, wait, after they, like, left it so open last week, mm -hmm. he's just not there. Yeah, interesting. Maybe hmm. he's dealing with some stuff Maybe, right now. maybe him and his girlfriend had to go on vacation to deal with a couple things. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I kind of like that because... Fozzie has been heavily focused on pretty much every episode up until this point, so it's kind of like nice to take a break from that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's gotten a lot of focus. It's nice to deal with the others. Yeah, yeah, like Denise. And, and also having, of course, the Electric Mayhem getting their own focus and everything. Yeah, and that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. I hope we get to see more of them. <laughs> I would love to see more of them. Yeah. I love also how Zood, like, I don't know, he was totally not there. He was just a space case the whole time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when, uh, when Christian Chenoweth agreed and he was like, well, thanks a lot, Christian Chenoweth, you selfish bitch. Something <laughs> like that. And it was like, yep. no, she agreed. Oh, okay, uh, withdrawn. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even apologize, he was just like, withdrawn. I know. <laughs> um, anyway, back to Kermit and Denise. This was... Okay, so, there's so many interesting layers to this because... Okay, I'm just gonna come up and ask. If you were in a pickle where you had to get something for your girlfriend, would you ever go ask an ex-girlfriend for advice on a gift from personal experience? Depends on the ex, but probably not. Yeah. If I had an ex like Piggy, no. Yeah, no, me neither. I'm actually really surprised. Kermit's like super brave to go to her. Um, yeah. 
I feel the same way. Honestly, if this was a couple years ago and things were different, I would have said, yeah, sure, but considering that my last ex and I are like not in a good place and that's one of the reasons we're not together anymore is because of someone that he's with, it's just kind of like, how nope. dare you if you even try to ask me that kind of question? Excuse me? No. That actually, I kind of, you know what? It was so sneaky of Miss Piggy, but I kind of liked what she did at the end. Spoiler was, alert. Yeah, serious spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering the whole time, like, she's being way too nice about this. Mm -hmm. What is she going to do to him? How is she going to screw him over? I know. So first she asked him questions about what about certain things about Denise to get ideas for gift. And then they offer to go shopping. He can't go. And then she comes back. And it was so interesting how she like put all these things that uh, into this gift that they talked about. Like she likes to eat out of boxes, which was of course like stupid. But still, it was like he she got him. But yeah, she got a jewelry box for mm -hmm. him. And she was right about. She was kind of interesting how she was like. Um, I think she said uh, a lover of bulldog football is like too tough to like go get her own jewelry box. But made, she needs it. But she needs it. And she also, it's made of like the state tree of Georgia where she's yeah. from. And then there's also like a charm bracelet with a ketchup bottle because apparently Denise likes ketchup. It's like... More than anything. It, yeah. Oh my God. If a guy actually put that much thought into a gift, like he would win. Like, yeah. it's no wonder Denise is like wanting to stay with um, Kermit, <laughs> especially because she thinks that he actually got the gift. But then it was like, aw, that's so sweet. And then, except for the switch. Except for the switch. But it was kind of cute because at first, like when when she wasn't showing up at the restaurant, we were kind of thinking like, oh, maybe she's not gonna come after all. But then she did. It was like, oh, okay, she actually came through for him. Yeah. But then it turns out the music box song. Was their song. Was hers and Kermit's song Ugh. from when they were together. And I, when we watched that, we were just like, oh no. We're freaking out. I know. Like, what can Kermit do? He's not going to, like, tell Denise that, like, Biggie made this gift for him, is he? It sure doesn't look like he's going to. It's like, what are you going to do now? Every time she opens that music box, you're going to think of Piggy now. And Piggy knows it. Kaboom. Ugh. Oh my gosh. vengeance. I know. Oh my gosh. That was like so sneaky and so manipulative, but at the same time, I'm like... Brilliant. Brilliant. It was Actually, a brilliant, horrible thing to do. It was a brilliant, horrible thing to do. Exactly. And you know, it's not like when Kermit like was selfish two episodes ago and like, you know, manipulated Piggy to like, without her knowledge. I don't know. For some reason, this one just felt like a sick burn. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I was just the biggest burn. Oh, it was good. It's like, that that's great. what you get for dumping me. <laughs> I don't, I don't and know. And then coming to me to ask to get your girlfriend something. I know. Like, I know exactly when she was all like, yeah, he's and I were still friends, but you don't ask your ex to get a gift for your girlfriend. It's just like, yeah, probably yeah. true. <laughs> Lesson learned, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's fun to watch Kermit suffer, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like you said, it, I probably wasn't as laugh out loud funny as the last episode, but it still had some really interesting scenarios and some interesting, like, you know, finding out some stuff about a bunch of the characters. Yeah, and Kermit <clears throat> was opening up more honestly this time. Yeah. Which was really nice. You're right. I kind of like that too. Because that was like our complaint from the last couple episodes, that he hasn't been totally honest. Yeah. But I like that. I like that he came to, you know, Piggy again and was like, look, we're friends, right? Can't we do this? And I love that he was being totally sincere, excuse me, sincere. And that Miss Piggy behind those eyes was like, okay, all right, here comes my ultimate revenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, and she got it. She did. I, I'm just totally impressed. I wish I could have like done a sick burn like that at some point. If, oh, so brilliant. I know, that was so good. So I love that Kristen Chenoweth is in this. I, I, I think it would have been cute if we got to see her do a little bit more singing or something. But yeah, it was cool that she and Piggy got to do one together. Yeah, but they did get to do a musical number together, which was cute. I liked her pink outfit and matched her lipstick. I don't know why, but I just thought that was really <laughs> She cool. pointed that out, like, right when it happened. Yeah, like, I don't oh, know. The lipstick and dress. I don't know. It just seemed really cute. <laughs> it is really cute. Yeah. So anyway, overall, good episode. Oh, and by the way, this is the episode, and uh, I don't think I mentioned, this is the episode I got to go um, watch them film. The scene where Kermit and uh, Scooter are together painting, that's the episode I got to, uh, sorry, that's the scene I got to watch, and that's how I got a picture with Scooter. So, just so you know, that was an awesome scene to watch. They did change some lines, but they kind of do that as they go. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a really cute episode. Um, I 
it could have had a little bit more feels in it, but I think it actually, they did the smart thing by going the comedy route and making it really funny that what with Miss Piggy did to Kermit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was really good. So like overall- they were kind of easing into some feels and then they are like, no! Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Really good. All right. So overall good. Good development. I'm excited to see what happens next. And any other thoughts before we close out? No, I'm good. Cool. Was, awesome. Good, good vlogging again. Awesome. Yeah, go team. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And watch us again for the next vlog. We'll probably do this again next week. We'll try to do this as much as we can. But thank you so much. And I will see you again real soon for another reactor video or Muppet Monday or whatever. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.